Uh, hello. Hi. How you doing? Nice to see you again. Back on YouTube, or attempting to be back on YouTube, and uh, I'm gonna do my makeup and stuff. So like, here, here's me doing my makeup. Ta -da. You guys aren't already go ahead and subscribe and like this video and do all the things that people usually do for YouTube. I, it's been almost a year. I don't remember what to say or do for this, but go ahead and like and follow and subscribe. And do all the things and yeah. like, comment. There you go. But um, I'm gonna be doing makeup, and um, if this is your first time here, you guys will be learning about me and what I do and stuff. And if it's not your first time here, then you will learn why I haven't been here. And we'll talk about all of that. And um, yeah, so um, sit back, relax, and uh, after the loud ass dryer in the background. So, let's get started. So my name is Darius, also known as Neon, also known as Neon Nimue. I am a makeup artist, enthusiast, and content creator based out of North Carolina. I have been content creating and putting on makeup like this for almost 10 years now. Wow, it's been that long. Um, but I've been doing content creation more so focused on like YouTube and stuff within the last seven eight years my style of artistry is a mix of what i like to consider like high concept and avant-garde makeup with a mix of wearable glam so you'll see a lot of like clashing colors and a lot of strange shapes but it also looks wearable it's a lot of stuff that you can put on any day that you want and just go out with um if you go back to a lot of my past content i've done a lot of like wild things that have mixed um pop culture elements and like elements of nature and architecture and structures and things that nature to make some kind of fun wearable glam if you will my platform has always been based on the idea of representation especially for black beauty but especially for black beauty boys and black core representation i have spent the entirety of my beauty career pushing for representation in different spaces and making it known that people like me exist in this space. Um, so whether it has been being part of a campaign geared specifically for Black Beauty Boys or um, creating movements like Color Pop Me Black to put a spotlight on Black Beauty creators that has definitely been needed. Or just creating collabs like the Dust of Dawn Face Palette Collection, which has been able to answer the much needed call of bronzers and contours, especially for deeper complexions. Um, the idea has always been to create a platform and a space for those people who look like me and people like me who have often been misrepresented uh, in this beauty space. So my goal has always been to create a space where those like me, especially those black beauty boys, um, don't have to work nearly as hard as I did when I first started in beauty. So I hope that my platform has been able to do that and I hope that I can continue to be the voice and change for those that need it. Wow, I'm filming a YouTube video. Who would have died in 2023? Maybe. Okay, so why has it been 10 months? It's been 10 months since the last time I posted a YouTube video. That's not a problem at all. Where have I, why have I not put up a YouTube video? Simply put, I got lazy. Oh, part of me got lazy, but it also just got a little frustrating. I got burned out. Um, and not like the typical, oh, I've been posting YouTube videos, I got burned out. Like the industry is draining, I'm burnt out type of burnout. out. And it's not just myself. Like if you guys are looking at a lot of like former long form content creators, they are all pretty much going through the same thing where they just feel burned out from posting content. It's just simple burnout, like in an industry that drastically shifted to short form content in the course of what six months and industry um standards and everything changed so quickly yeah it, it just got burnt out like to a point where part of me felt like i had to sacrifice one part of content creation for another being long form versus short form um, and at the time when everything started transitioning, this was when I was working with Ulta. So it was like, okay, well, Ulta wants me to do short form content, so I have to do short form content. And it's burning, it's burning, it burnt me. It burned, it burned. It's just the industry changed and it's been very hard to navigate. Like I have talked to brands, brand owners, 
um, marketing individuals, different people within the industry, and they are all just in a place where, in order to keep up with the standards, they have to crank up this content. Like it feels low key, and this is like, this is so wild, but everyone has turned into ColourPop in the sense that everyone is cranking out something new. Not necessarily new products, but they are cranking out something and pushing so much news content. And it's just a burnout. Like, of course there are people who can keep up with it. I am fortunately not one of those people. I cut on to TikTok very late in the game compared to most people. So, of course I'm not one of the people who, you know, could easily transition into the short form content. Um, I just do better at Long for content, I do better at talking to people, I do better at explaining and doing these kind of videos where you guys can see me do the whole thing. Like the jump cuts and everything, cute, but it's just like, oh, it can burn you out real quick. So um, for me, I just got, got burned out and then the burnout started affecting just regular content in general. Like you look at the way that people view Instagram content and just like, the whole issue with like static posts versus like videos and everything it's it is a bit of a struggle so a lot of people just don't post as much unfortunately i fell into a slump where i did not want to post much i didn't want to deal with instagram or anything in general and like it sucks because like it's my job so if i don't do it i don't pay money <laughs> But I have been doing my best to like get into the vibes of it all. I, uh, I'm not posting video content every single day, but I am trying to like at least make sure I post once a month. <clears throat> but here I'm at a point where um, I am trying to migrate back into content of some form or shape. Um, of course, makeup is always going to be there. I'm always going to do that. I'm always going to try to post most up content. There is no set schedule. There is no skip. Who knows if I'm gonna post another YouTube video like this again. Just know that I am trying. Um, but I will be making an attempt to post more beauty related content in terms of YouTube. Of course, I'll be doing reels. Um, static images are still gonna be like my go-to because of the fact that like, I just do good that. And it's just, I don't want to get myself into a space where I like get drained again from posting uh, video content. A lot of people just love like posting static content. There's nothing wrong with that. And unfortunately, I wish I wish more brands would be okay with that um, because there are a lot of us who simply just don't do well with short form content. And that's okay. Also, a lot of these platforms are just falling apart in terms of like how they are run. Like, obviously, Twitter's falling apart. Instagram's low key falling apart. TikTok can fall apart at any point. It's just frustrating. So like, I would like to think that maybe one day people will go back into appreciate short form content. It's gonna take a lot to get to that point, but who knows? Maybe we will. Am I also doing other content? Uh, yeah. I've got a Twitch. I haven't started streaming yet, but I plan on it eventually, sometime maybe. I don't know. There's a Twitch account. If you want to follow that, you can. Will the podcast ever come back? Who knows? Maybe. We've talked about it. Mm -hmm. Am I making music? I've talked about it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. I'm literally filming a video, okay? All those things are in play. Will they happen? Who knows? It's just a matter of who. I'm filming a YouTube video. I'm not do. I am filming a regular ass YouTube video. <laughs> you know, things I used to do. YouTube videos. All right, so that's it. This is me wearing makeup again on YouTube. Um, follow me on social media, I guess. Y'all need me to like, subscribe and like the video and stuff. Whatever. I don't know. Maybe I'll post another video again. Maybe not. Follow me on Twitch and all that other stuff. Just. There we go. But I'm gonna see you guys. Hope you have a great time watching the video.